two really big pieces of crypto news today as we start this new week. Actually, we're starting a new month. And before we even talk about these two pieces of news, it's going to be a really brief video just to update you on what's going on. This is the total crypto market cap chart. I just want to say one thing to keep in mind as we're going through just a couple of these stories. Total crypto market cap, the total value, has still not broken all-time high this cycle. There's many people that are kind of like, man, the cycle top is in. There is no way that the cycle top is in. There's no way that we've seen the end of this cycle. As I've been saying, this is just the beginning. That's my opinion. That's all it is. I could be wrong, but this is what the data is telling me. Let's, let's go into this news. Here's the first story. U.S. Marshals Service chooses Coinbase to safeguard trade its large cap digital assets portfolio. Y'all know Coinbase has just been under scrutiny. It's in a legal battle with the SEC right now. And there's been a lot of talk, you know, Bitcoin spot ETF approved, Ethereum spot ETF approved. They're, supply, they're applying for the Solana ETF. And it's kind of like, man, this, this case that SEC has brought against Coinbase and others, this case though, it's just not looking great for SEC. Coinbase, there's just such an irony in terms of what they're doing with the Ethereum spot ETF and at the same time going after Coinbase. There's an irony, irony there, right? Well, check this out. U.S. Marshals Service chooses Coinbase to safeguard trade its large cap digital asset portfolio. There is some irony. An agency within the U.S. DOJ partners with Coinbase to provide custody and trading services for their large cap digital assets. So let's go over this article real, real briefly. And then we're going to actually just talk about, I think, from my opinion, what this means. And then we'll pivot to the other news. USMS awards Coinbase Prime a multi-million dollar contract. The USMS, United States Marshal Service, conducted a competitive due diligence process that evaluated a range of solutions, ultimately choosing Coinbase due to our strong track record and ability to securely provide institutional-grade crypto services at scale. Per an awards notice from the DOJ on the government's website for an awards management, Coinbase Prime will receive $32.5 million for it. This, this news... There's been so many things over the years that really, I think, just show and indicate Coinbase's efforts to just build properly in this space of unknown, in this brand new innovative, innovative space, to build how they should in the best manner that they, that they can, right? They've asked countless times with the, to meet with the SEC just to get some guidance. And here's just a perfect example. The DOJ just straight up being like, Yes, Coinbase, you know, they obviously trust and like Coinbase. They've had a long time relationship. The U.S. government has a history of using Coinbase to sell crypto. Coinbase created a law enforcement program back in 2014. This, this might sound crazy to some people that are like, man, over, you know, over the last year or so, SEC went after Coinbase. And I think a lot of people that don't know the history of Coinbase and how they've built are kind of like, dude, Coinbase is in trouble. Is Coinbase shady? What's going on? It is not. That, that is not the story. Coinbase has a long-standing history with the U.S. government. However, the exchange has also been targeted by an arm of the government. The Securities and Exchange Commission filed a suit against Coinbase last summer, alleging that it acted as an unregistered broker in exchange while offering and selling unregistered securities. This is another case where the SEC, I just think, looks ridiculous. The Biden administration, because that's what this is, and the anti-crypto army of Elizabeth Warren, Gary Gensler. This is just another thing where they look ridiculous. And I think Coinbase coming out kind of stronger than ever once again. So here is the TLDR by Eleanor over here on, on X. The government is using Coinbase as a custodian. The government is also suing Coinbase for being a custodian. And that sums it up. And that's, the, 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 that's just how ironic and ridiculous it is. But I really think, everybody, as we're watching this, this war on crypto and we're watching how this story unfolds in the courts, in, in Congress, things like this, it's good for the crypto space. Things like this happening. So let's pivot over here to the other piece of news. $103 billion Sony to launch Bitcoin and crypto exchange. We've talked a lot about, you know, institutional money, ETF stuff, but this is, this is the other side. This is kind of the other piece of, of crypto. Sony to restart Japanese crypto exchange, Whalefin purchased from Amber Group in 2023. 
the technology giant has dabbled in Web3 through partnerships and investments in startups. And I actually, I want to, you know, obviously, so it's talking about Sony dabbled in Web3. I want to read this thread. This was a pretty, pretty cool one over here on X. Sony is launching a crypto exchange, but they'll also launch an Ethereum layer two. Can you imagine what happens if Sony, six times bigger company than Coinbase, think about that, launches their platform with Web3 ways? They're going to apply Coinbase's, and by the way, that was the president of Sony Network that actually said that in 2023. They're going to apply Coinbase's playbook with their exchange and their Ethereum layer two. Obviously, they won't be the last to do it. Many other big institutions will launch their Ethereum at layer twos. And it's saying Ethereum is a new financial system. This person posting this, obviously an Ethereum bull. There will be other crypto ecosystems that probably are used for big things like this. And, you know, those people will say this blockchain is the new financial system. Ethereum obviously is an OG. Ethereum obviously is the number two crypto. And this is a really big, this is really big news, right? So as we're, we're sitting here and we're, we're pivoting from bear market to bull market. It's been a long kind of pivot that always is every four years. I posted this a little bit ago. Crypto momentum is reversing towards the bulls. Do you feel it? And when we zoom out on a total crypto market cap chart, there's going to be volatility to the upside, to the downside, always. But I'm just saying, when you zoom out, and I don't even mean like zoom out on this chart, and I, I missed a halving in here. What I'm saying, though, is if you zoom out, I'm not saying, yeah, what's going to happen here? You know, are we going to go up or down right here? I'm saying just look at the history of crypto. And by the way, the, the having two cycles ago is like right around here. So just look at what's happening with total crypto market cap. And as we go over this news, what's the trajectory? That's the, that's the thing for me. When I say we're just beginning... I do think this cycle alone, you know, what happens here in this cycle as we evaluate previous bull cycles, I really do think this cycle is the bull cycle is just getting started. But when we zoom out, that path, and I, I, I don't even know when I did this a while ago, but the path to 40 trillion, I'm not saying it's definitely by 2030. That's where I have it on this, on this chart. But that, that path looks so in play in the long term. And I'm talking about this is a longer term thing. So yeah, upside, downside in the short term. What's it look like? Maybe there's a huge dip. People will be calling it's the end of crypto right there. And it's a, it is a massive dip on crypto market, uh, total crypto market. But it's this long-term thing that I'm very interested in. And so I'm going to keep tracking that. So this is the news for today as we start this new week. I hope you're doing well out there, everybody. If you're here, new to the channel, please hit the subscribe, turn notifications on. I try and just track crypto news that's relevant and I think interesting and crypto charts in general. So appreciate you cruising through. Hit the like if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.